Hi, my name is Darren Mostyn. I'm the senior colorist and founder of Online Creative, which is a post facility down here in Brighton on the south coast in the UK. We do a lot of uh, broadcast work. We work with BBC, ITV. We do um, music promos, corporate, all sorts of stuff. So we do the whole post production workflow. So we do editing, animation, VFX, and color grading. So when we're color grading, and finishing, we're using DaVinci Resolve. So what I wanted to do today is just show you a few little techniques that I use when I'm grading. I've got an actual project that I worked on just literally finished yesterday. So I'm gonna show you some of the little tricks that Resolve can do. We like to make sure our kit is um, top of its game. So we're always looking out for new technologies, making sure that we are bang up to spec uh, for any deliverables that might come around. And we've just taken delivery of the brand new ASUS ProArt PA32 UCG. So this is their brand new model. It is really great to work on. I've just literally finished this job on it. It's 32 inches, so it's a really nice size on my desktop. It's uh, 4K UHD and it also has HDR at 1600 nits. Now this is fantastic. I'm gonna show you some HDR stuff in here, in, in, in DaVinci Resolve. The beauty of it being 1600 nits is that we need a thousand nits sustained for our broadcast spec. So for Netflix, for example, you, you are required to grade on a 1000 nit monitor. But because this is 1600 nits, we're easily getting that. We're getting 1000 nits sustained very easily. So we'll take a look at that in a moment, but let's just take a look uh, inside Resolve and I'm gonna show you this project that we just worked on. So this is the actual project that I've literally just finished and I'm gonna grade up this shot here and just show you a couple of tips in DaVinci Resolve. So we are delivering in Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So the first thing we need to do is check our color management settings, go down here, we're working in DaVinci Wide GB Color Managed. We're using DaVinci Wide Gamut. This allows us to work in SDR and HDR. We're currently set to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. Now, when my ProArt UCG monitor arrived, it came with a calibration certificate. So I know that it's already been calibrated. In fact, the Delta E value on there was 0.6. So that's quite incredible color accuracy. However, it does come with an i1 Display Pro, so you can actually calibrate it yourself. So I've got the confidence that the calibration is correct for me to just start working. I'm, you know, I'm working to broadcast specs. We're delivering you know, to BBC. I want to make sure my colors are absolutely accurate. And, and this monitor is certainly doing that. So all we have to do now is input the correct color space. So we go to our input color space and change it to Arri Alexa, because this was all shot Alexa. And the colors now really sing to life. So we've got this fantastic monitor giving me a beautiful Rec. 709 display and the images are looking really fantastic. Now let's just improve that. In here, this is the actual look that I went for. So you can see I would, the brief was to make it nice and punchy so and really go for it. So we've done that in this image. This is it straight out of the camera with the Arri Alexa color space on there. So I'm just gonna apply my fixed node tree. I've got that as a preset in here. And what I'm gonna do is, first thing I do, let's have a look at the waveform and let's just check our Exposure is as good as we can get it. I'm gonna put a little bit more contrast in there. And I'm also just gonna check my offsets are good. So, okay, so something like that, maybe a little bit more green out there. We want it nice and warm. Now, one thing I wanna do is push the contrast in this, and there's a quite a cool tool. In the open effects up here, I've got my favorites marked with these little stars already. And there's a thing here called contrast pop. And if you just drag and drop that on, this is a really quick and easy way to get a real punch in your image. And you can see that, and I'm looking at this on the ProArt UCG, it looks absolutely fantastic. And I can see all the detail coming in the highlights in the skin here, and that is really starting to pop. I just need to tweak the black levels a little bit. So I'm just doing a little bit more in the highlight. And that is looking good. Now I'm just gonna use the color warper very quickly. I'm just gonna take a little bit of saturation out of her hat. So let's just sample the peak point there. And in here, we can now just pull this down a little bit. And it just drops a little bit of saturation out of there because on our vector scope, we can see that our reds are getting pretty hot. So that's looking really good. Now what I want to do is push the a Zeus ProArt monitor a little bit further. I want to have a look at it in high dynamic range. So let's switch this 
SDR project into HDR. I'm going to show you just how easy that is to do in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to go to my Color Manage tool down here. And in Color Management, we're already in DaVinci Wide Gamut. So we've already got the opportunity to go from SDR to HDR very quickly. All I've got to do is change my output color space here. Now, the Azus ProArt UCG is capable of working in P3 DCI. So let's switch into that mode. This allows us to work with high dynamic range. So I'm going to go from Gamma 2.4. I'm going to push this hard now into, let's take, go to ST2084. So we've got a PQ curve of 1000 nits, which is a broadcast standard. Now this monitor is 1600 nits. So I know that across there sustained, I'm gonna get 1000 nits without stressing the monitor out at all. So let's just press save. And what happens is it's kind of the opposite of what you think is gonna happen. The image actually goes dull. And that's because this monitor here is SDR. It's not capable of HDR. And this monitor is still set in Rec. 709. So I'm going to just switch it at the back. Go into the menu. And I'm just going to switch it down to P3 DCI. HDR. And now our image, we're looking at it in HDR. So we can really start to push this. Now I'm going to switch back to my waveform. I'm going to show you this on a scope that measures nits. So this is how we look at HDR. So nits is the brightness level. Uh, HDR is capable of doing 10,000 nits. Broadcast deliverable is a thousand nits maximum at the moment. And you can really see how fantastic this monitor is behaving in HDR. Look at the brightness levels there now. So I really think the investment in this ProArt UCG monitor is a real complement to the rest of the equipment we've got here. I've now future proofed this company. This is doing 1600 nits. So I'm offering HDR with quality HDR monitoring at an affordable price. This is really not breaking the bank. So I'm really looking forward to going beyond our first project with it and, uh, and really putting it through its paces.